Hi, this is Kushbu with another question of lines and angles. This is question number 5. I'm sorry, this is question number 6 from exercise 6.2, page number 104 from NCI. This says in figure 6.33, PQ and RS are two mirrors. This is PQ, this is RS. Two mirrors are you here. Placed parallel to each other, to be considered parallel. An incident ray AB strikes the mirror PQ at P. AB ray hai, which is PQ ko B pe strike kar diya. The reflected ray moves along the path PC. So reflected ray hai, path BC se kapas ja hai. And strike the mirror RS at C. Or mirror ko strike kar diya C per. And again reflects along CD. Or phir se CD ke along reflect ho diya. Prove that AB is parallel to CD. In two lines ko pari proof karne ke liye, if you see bandha is there, but lekin pari proof karna hai, aapko proof karna padega ki ye alternate angles equal hai. Tab ja ke hum keh sakte hai ki yes, ye lines parallel hai. So, sab se pehle agar usme construction karin. Construction. Hum yaha se isme, agar ko pehle ki draw karin, let's suppose this is B N, this is C N. So draw PN perpendicular to PQ and CM perpendicular to RS. Go with the perpendicular. If you draw perpendicular, so you can see that the two lines are parallel. Because these are the two parallel lines. We have to draw the perpendicular. So we have to draw the perpendicular. So we have to draw the perpendicular. So we have to draw the perpendicular. Since PQ Parallel, this is given. PQ parallel RS, therefore, BN is parallel to, sorry, this is perpendicular, also perpendicular, is parallel to CM. Or we have given that AB is incident to or CD is incident to. Or we prove that AB parallel is CD. Proof. अगर हम इसको ले लेते हैं, distance let's suppose angle one, this is angle two, this is angle three, this is angle four. So इस केस में हमारे पास angle one, angle two के equal होगा, बेटर law of reflection क्या आता है कि angle of incidence is always equal to angle of reflection. तो angle one, angle two के equal होगा, angle three, angle four के equal होगा. So by laws of reflection Angle 1 is equal to angle 2, angle 3 is equal to angle 4. Okay, two angles equal in our part. And if B n parallel is C n k, so you see Z bend right. So if Z bend right, that means we have our alternate angles. That means angle 2 equal to angle 3 k. Angle 2 equal to angle 3 k. Alternate angles are equal. So, if 2, 3 is equal and 1 is equal to 2, 3 is equal to 4. So, if we add both of them, angle 1 plus angle 2, angle 3 plus angle 4, plus angle 2, in both equations, and angle 3 plus angle 4. So, you have 1 and 2 are equal to 2. When you have 2, 3 is equal to 1, and 2 is equal to 2. So, that means 1 and 3 is equal to 2. और अगर ये three four के equal है तो that means one four के equal होगा। that means ये पूरी चीज आपकी इस पूरे के equal होगी। the whole thing will be equal to angle three plus angle four। मतलब पूरा angle one plus angle two और angle three plus angle four will be equal। क्योंकि अगर मैं इस two की जगह पर one two के equal है, two three के equal है, and three four के equal है, तो अगर हम इसको बढ़ाकर ये लिख देते हैं यहाँ पर angle two की जगह पर angle four, since Angle 2 equal है angle 4 के क्योंकि angle 3 equal है 4 के 2 भी equal होगा 4 के तो इन दोनों को हम add करते हैं तो 1 plus 2 equal 3 plus 4 तो 1 plus 2 होता है हमारे पास A B C और 3 plus 4 होता है B C D therefore angle A B C equal angle B C D ये भी नहीं कैसे था since alternate angles equal हैं ये पूरे पूरे angle alternate हैं क्योंकि ये Z बना रहा है इस तरह से ये alternate angle equal हैं therefore lines parallel हैं तो हम लिखेंगे सिंस ऑल्टरनेट 
handles are equal. Therefore, AB is parallel to CD. End quote. So this was question number six from exercise six point two, and do watch the next video for some more questions. Goodbye.